How's it going, YouTube? Well, it has officially been a year since I announced that I was going to do my best to participate in a bodybuilding competition in about three years. So we're down uh, to only having two years remaining to improve my physique and, and put on as much size as I possibly can. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit of a recap video uh, because 2021 was a pretty good year for me. I mean, I, I fell into some pretty good habits. Um, I failed at some habits, which I'm, you know, obviously starting back up here in the new year. Um, but overall, it's been it's been a really good time. Um, I've be definitely become a gym rat, and it, it's hard to go a couple of days if we are on vacation or we're out of town or, or just uh, feeling sick or whatever. Uh, it's hard to take those days off when they're necessary. Um, so that's kind of where I'm at now. Um, I weighed in this morning at about 182 pounds. I know the last time I made that video, uh, I was about 173, maybe 175. So there's a little bit of weight difference and I'm going to be throwing up some of the clips from last year or at least um, some photos and, and I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons um, and I'll show you a little posing uh, that I did earlier this morning. Um, this morning for that posing I was not um, fed at all. Um, I had a little bit of water um, but I was basically still probably going to be the same 182 pounds. It wasn't any heavier and uh, I tried to keep that as close as possible to the comparison for last year because last year I'm pretty sure I didn't eat anything when I had filmed that and then I also used the same camera and the same lighting uh, I, I just put it in my garage I didn't I didn't set up any sort of special lights I didn't try to do any downloading to make it look any better so it should be a fairly true comparison um, and that was the whole the whole point of this it is very transparent um, I know I make other gym videos or, or post other pictures on Instagram where I do try to look as enhanced as possible and use lighting to my advantage, um, but there's no use lying to the public. Um, so that's that was the whole point of, of this journey is I wanted to show what it's like for your average Joe or, or somewhat average Joe to be able to, to try and do this themselves. Now in review, obviously my diet was not optimal the entire year. I did what I could. So the first six or seven months of the year is when I uh, really started to, to try and put on weight and I tried to put on as much weight as I could as fast as possible, which in retrospect, I regret doing. I would, I would have liked to do it more gradually um, and that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to put on more weight a little gradually. And I definitely didn't optimize my protein intake. Uh, I was probably, averaging about 120 to maybe 150 grams per day at you know over 170 pounds body weight so i'm trying to improve that this year in my diet and i'm making those adjustments as necessary um just with with my school and work schedule it doesn't really work out to me um prepping four or five meals that i can have throughout the day so a lot of supplementation has come into place which you know i know it's not the greatest but it is what it is and I'm not doing this for a career. I'm just trying to uh, see how much size I can put on and just do it for fun, so. All right, so here are gonna be the two videos side by side, kind of spliced together. And they might not play at the same speed. I'll do my best to adjust for it in, in post editing, but uh, I, I personally think that I did see a lot of growth and development in both my legs and my back and my triceps. I think those were my three strengths that really kind of stuck out throughout the year. But uh, in my weak way, my weaknesses um, being my biceps and my chest. Um, overall, those those are like my least favorite ones to train or, or the ones that I kind of have a, a trouble feeling a mind muscle connection. So I'm really trying to work on developing that. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the growth that I made. I know it's not anything astronomical. Uh, it's pretty average for what a new lifter can expect as long as they're consistent. However, I do think that there is a lot of other room for improvement. I do think that my arms are closer to the same size than they were last year. Um, and that's a good thing because I was very lopsided and unsymmetrical. Uh, so I'm at least heading in the right direction, I believe. I'm carrying a little bit more body fat today than I was last year when I did this. However, I think I carry my body fat a little bit differently now. Um, overall, I think my legs improved a ton. Um, I, I saw significant development in just the, the hamstrings and my calves, which granted I didn't train them as much as I probably could have. But anyways, I did see much better growth there. Um, I'm, I'm growing out of a lot of the jeans that I used to wear. So that kind of sucks, but it's a good sign that I'm on the right track. 
um, quads and everything I'm pretty happy with. I would like the teardrop, the teardrop uh, part of my quad to, to be a little bit bigger. Um, to me it just kind of looks a little disproportionate, but uh, um, my genetics might not really allow me to be able to fix that all that much. I am trying to do full depth squatting motions um, and, and get really get a full range of motion to uh, promote growing that, that part of my leg. Um, now as for my upper body, Strengths, I think my my shoulders and my triceps look pretty good, um, and, and I think my back overall is f getting fairly well developed, um, both thickness and width. And granted, I think I've always had a genetic predisposition to back, but I, um, I definitely think that's shown through this past year. I've seen a lot more progress um, and strength gains in the back than I have up front. So I've adjusted my training accordingly to that. In the last month or two, I've really been focusing on putting more volume on my chest and uh, really trying to build a mind-muscle connection and then also a very unsymmetrical chest. So I'm, I'm trying to fix that as well. Um, so that's all in the works. Um, my biceps are also lacking in my opinion. I feel like those didn't grow in size as, nearly as much as my triceps did. So I'm definitely trying to maybe increase the volume on that. And again, I think having a higher protein intake overall is going to help me be a, a lot better at developing that muscle. I think that might about sum it up for the recap that I wanted to do today. Um, I think overall I've put on maybe about six to eight, maybe 10 pounds of lean muscle if I really get down to the nitty gritty. Um, and that's with a not very optimized diet. That is with my first year of like really serious training and, and tracking progressive overload. Uh, making sure that I'm taking sets to failure and all that jazz and, 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 and trying to have a higher protein intake because I did a lot of this stuff in high school but I never took the nutrition side seriously and I was always playing so many other sports that I just I didn't even have the, the caloric intake or the time to eat as much as I, uh, as I could. Um, I would have had to be eating in class which I know a lot of people do. That's great. You, ha you had that, that vision from far before I did. Um, I expect a lot of great things this year because I, I do kind of know my way around the block now. Um, I don't expect to maybe gain as much muscle as I did last year because newbie gains, all that kind of stuff. I still have plans to try and compete uh, in about two years. So in about two years time, I think is when I'm going to actually spend the money to hire a personal trainer, a nutritionist, and, and just really dial things in for the last you know six to eight months before I'd like to try and compete. Um, so that's gonna be a good experience, but for now it's just, I'm hitting the gym six days a week, I'm taking a rest day every Sunday because that's that's the day that I get to focus on church and family um, and just doing the best that I can to be consistent as well as uh, disciplined. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I have filmed a workout since I know it's been a long, several months since I posted a workout. Um, so this is last Friday, about three or four days ago now. Um, kind of a shoulder emphasized uh, push day but I haven't started to incorporate more chest on my shoulder days because that is my, my biggest lacking body part in my opinion. So enjoy. Still recording? Okay, so guys, um, come this way a little bit. Um, so it is Friday evening. Sorry if I look a little tired. Uh, had a long day at work, kind of napped right before we came here. But we're just gonna get in a quick push workout. So this is gonna be like um, second push day of the week for me. So mainly shoulders, um, with a little bit of upper chest and triceps. Um, so yeah, I don't know why my wife's laughing behind the camera right now, but. <laughs> She cannot uh, keep a serious face. So, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, we're just gonna get some cool clips um, because I know it's been a really, really long time since we filmed the workout. And uh, I'm thinking she's laughing at somebody behind me, but it is what it is. So, yeah, we're just gonna, uh, we're doing this high incline uh, dumbbell press right now. Um, a little bit of both upper chest and a lot of shoulders. Really like this. Um, been able to fine tune my training a lot um, in the last year. Um, so that's good. 
uh, and then we're going to move over to some uh, barbell overhead press, some um, chest flies, some incline like machine press, um, and then triceps, and we'll uh, go from there. He wanted to be included. Gym Shark tank, my black Gym Shark shorts. I think I just went full golf today. Just black and everything except the earbuds. So. <laughs> I got nothing. Yeah, you see them red eyes. There we go.
Mm, that juicy tricep though. That's a pretty good song. If you haven't heard of Wage War or listened to them and you're into metal or rock, I highly suggest it. Um, so this machine has become like one of my absolute favorites. I used to only do um, like V V handle tricep push downs, um, and my triceps I feel like have always been a weak point. Like it's where I am weakest when I'm locking out on bench and everything. So I started doing this instead. And I know there's a little bit of chest involved because obviously it's just like a dip, except this one's supported and um, it's a little bit easier to to manage the uh, uh, the tension. But it's just I think it's a really um, it's a maximal effort type machine because you are stable the whole time. Um, so yeah, this has become a really big staple over the last couple months since I started incorporating it and I think it's definitely helped a lot. It helps a lot with progressive overload. It feels like there's less variables. Normally I like to seat a little bit lower. I wasn't quite getting as much stretch, but it's okay. We got three more sets. <clears throat> oh shit, that was a little heavy. Oh. Started to focus a lot more on really like feeling your triceps throughout the whole movement. So, because before I was doing probably a little bit too much weight. So we scaled it back a little bit. Because it's all this year, or this, these last like four months that I've been lifting, been focusing a ton on the more mind-muscle connection side of things. Um, so you saw me doing it over on the um, chest fly machine, a little bit kind of doing a little quarter rep in between some of the reps. I don't do it every set, but uh, I just do it to really kind of build up the connection because my, uh, my chest is one of my weaker points. I have a lot of weak points, but it's definitely one of them right now. I don't know, this boob's a little bit smaller, so I'm lopsided. Uh, okay, so we just finished up with this tricep like press down, but since we're trying to get to Outback at a decent time, we're not going to have time to do a second or third tricep movement. Um, but just figured I'd practice a little side chest pose. focus too much on the legs obviously I have no idea how to pose legs but I think I'm getting at least some of the, the upper body poses down a little bit better so that's a wrap for tonight see you next time